Hi, I'm Marion. I'm an artist. I'd like to tell you a little bit about me and my creative practice and a little bit about my journey to becoming an artist and an art teacher. I'm primarily a watercolour artist like this one, but I've also been in other mediums like this one. My journey began when I was studying Celtic art and I fell in love with the um, symbolism of those shapes and the importance of how to place shapes to each other, which leads very nicely later on in my career to how to use composition to create an effective painting. The next type of art that I completely indulged in was printmaking. And one of the best things I learned there was patience. You've got to be able to give yourself time to develop a work and keep going even when the first time it doesn't work, but keep going anyway. And then after printmaking, I completely indulged myself in watercolour. I'd been painting in watercolour all along in the background anyway, but after my masters, I decided to throw myself into watercolour. I began entering prizes, winning some, and then began selling my work, and that set my uh, path to becoming an artist. And uh, more recently, I got offered a job teaching watercolour in my local community, and I've been doing that ever since, which has proved to be such a wonderful thing to do. I get to paint in my job. Uh, that's pretty cool. And so what I'm going to be focusing on are shapes and how to use shapes in composition to create a pleasing uh, design. And the other side to it is color mixing, and then there's also the skill building. So I'm gonna be focusing on all three. I find that color mixing is the part that people um, don't necessarily find uh, intuitively. A lot of people find composition intuitively. A lot of people can play around with watercolor and work out their skills. Um, and build their skills on their own. But color mixing is something that is so easily learned and that's gonna be one of the areas that I'll focus on as well.